Hello, I'm Rachel from Brivus. In this video, we'll be showing you how to program your network or wall control for automatic operation. This means you can customize your system to your needs. In order to run the auto program on your networker, you need to set the program to suit your requirements. To do this, the networker must be off. Using the tab in the top right corner, lower the door to reveal the button. The program key enables you to enter the program to change the settings. The buttons we'll be using are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 1 alters the day. 2 alters the period of the day. 3 alters both the time and temperature for each period. 4 and 5 turn the zones on and off if you have a zone system. And the rotary dial is used to change the time and temperature. The periods used to control the day are wake, leave, return, pre-sleep and sleep. Wake is used to set a time and temperature to start the system and pre-warm the house before you get up in the morning. Leave is used to set the time where you'll leave the house for the day. Return is used to set the temperature and time that you'll return home. This can be set a little earlier so the house is warm once you return home. Pre-sleep is used to slightly increase or decrease the set temperature at the same time every night. If you have zoning options, pre-sleep can be used to switch heating in selected zones on or off, for example to warm the bedrooms before going to sleep. Sleep sets a time and temperature for the night when everyone is asleep. It is recommended that the system be turned off overnight to save energy and reduce your gas bills. In order to arrange a program for your heater, you need a plan of the times you wake up, leave the house, return home and go to bed. And you need to decide what temperature you're comfortable with. On the networker, days are segmented into two groups, weekdays and weekends displayed there on the left. For this example, we'll say that you like your home at 23 degrees. Zone A represents your living area, your family room, your lounge room, etc. And zone B represents your bedrooms. Now the zones are only applicable if you have a zone system. If you don't have a zone system, you don't need to worry about buttons four and five. Now let's say during the week you wake up at 6.30 a.m. We'll set the heater to come on at 6am so that the house is warm by the time you get up. We want the whole house warmed at this point so we'll have both zone A and zone B on. This is indicated by the little arrows under each zone. So if we press button 4, it takes away an arrow for zone A. Zone B, you press it again and the arrow is next to both. This indicates both zones are active. So. We need to change the period of the day to wake. We want to change the time to six o'clock. So we press button three until the time flashes. We use the rotary dial to turn it back to six o'clock. And we want to change this temperature to 23. So we press button three again and turn the dial to 23. Now let's say that you leave for work at 8 a.m. We need to change the period to leave we need to change this time to eight o'clock, so we press button three until the time flashes, which means we can change it. Turn the rotary dial till eight o'clock. Now we press the temperature button again, button three, till the temperature flashes. Now the rotary dial turns it up and down. The lowest it goes is the double dashes. This indicates that the heater will not be on at this time. Now let's say that you return home from work at 5.30. We'll set the heater to come on at five o'clock so that the house is warm when you come home. What we'll do for this period also is change the zones. So we'll only have the living space warmed and not the bedrooms at this point in time. So we need to change the period to return. We need to change the time to five o'clock, turning the rotary dial. We need to change the temperature to 23. And we need to ensure that just zone A is on. So you can press zone four as many times as you like and it'll scroll through the options. Once you've got the arrow just next to zone A, that means that just zone A is on, just the living area. 
Now let's say that you go to bed at about 10.15. So what we'll want to do is heat the bedrooms from maybe 9.30 p.m. So what we'll do is we'll change the period to pre-sleep. We then change the zones to just zone B. Or you can have both zones A and B on if you want to stay warm in the living area where you are. So we'll change the time here by pressing button three to maybe 9.15. And we'll change the temperature to 23. Now, because you go to bed at about 10.15, we'll arrange for the heater to switch off then. So we need to change the period to sleep. Need to change the time by pressing button three till time flashes to 10.15. And we want the temperature to be at the double dash so that the heater is off. If you prefer to have your heater on at a low temperature overnight, you can do that, setting it to say 16 degrees and that's the temperature it will maintain. However, we do recommend, as discussed, that you turn your heater off. Now let's say on the weekends you wake up at 8.30, leave the house at 10, return home at 3 and go to bed at 11. We need to set the program to represent that. So we need to change the day so that we represent the weekend block. We need to change the wake time. So pressing button two to bring up wake. We need to change this to say eight o'clock so the house is warm by the time that you get up. And we need to change the temperature to 23. Now the same as during the weekdays, we've got both zones on at this point. So you're heating both the bedrooms and the living area. So if you're leaving the house at 10 o'clock, we need to change the period to leave. We need to press button three to change to time. Turn the rotary dial to 10 o'clock. And again, we want the temperature to be at a double dash. Now, when you return home, that'll be three o'clock. So if we want to change that time to about 2.30 so that the house is warm by the time you get home, and we want to warm just the living area, not the bedrooms. So we'll change this to just zone A and the time is back to 2.30 and the temperature there is already set at 23 degrees. So if you're going to bed at 11, we'll set pre-sleep at maybe 10.30 and we'll make sure that both zones are on at this point so you're heating up the bedrooms. So we need to change the time, turn the dial, and we'll change the temperature to 23. And then when you go to bed at 11, change this period to sleep, we need to change the time to 11 o'clock. And we have the temperature at a double dash again, so that the heater will switch off. Now that we've set the program for weekends and weekdays, we need to turn the networker off. Now that we've set the program, you need to turn the networker back on in order to put the program in place. In the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see the word manual. That means that the networker is now running in manual mode. In order to change that, you press the auto button, which will change that to auto program. This networker also comes with a feature of advanced period, which is controlled by button two. What this means is that if you, for example, are to come home early, like today, Wednesday, 11.47, the system is programmed to be off. It's not meant to kick in until 5 p.m. when you get home. If you're home during the middle of the day, for whatever reason, you can press button two, advanced period, which means that the system will kick into the next period, the return, period and the system will come on. Once we reach the period following that, the pre-sleep at the time allocated, the system will follow the program as normal. Another feature of the networker is running in temporary mode. So say you're to come home early, you don't want to change to advanced period, you just turn the dial to change the temperature up to 24 degrees. You're running in temporary mode. That'll flash here in the bottom left corner in order to cancel that, you need to press button two. That will then return to the program that you have set. 
We hope you found this information useful. If you require any further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us on 1300 Brivus or visit us at our website. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. <laughs>